hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jessica and i'm your host in this channel just signatures in today's video we'll be showing you how to make a transparent corset you can add it to a bodice you can decide to leave it plain like that to wear it as a an inner piece or an outer piece whatever you decide to do with it it's all right yeah i said you can add it to um a bodice but like this one i'm going to be showing you i added um a skirt to it and also a yoke where you can decide to leave it as it is like i said earlier okay guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for uh, uh subscribe to my channel please and then if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also turn up your notification bell so that whenever i post any new video you'll be one of the first people to view it all right guys without further ado let's get into the workstation first things first you get your basic bodice pattern ready it will be linked in this description box if you don't know how to make it and then you do your nipple to nipple measurement which is your bust pan measurement divided by two plus half an inch you draw it all across the line so for the chest line at first i did one inch on both sides but later on i reduced it to half an inch you'll see why very soon um i'm coming up by one inch from my bust line and also going down by one inch just to give it that curve on the on the bust line i'm taking one inch on both sides while on the waistline i'm taking half an inch on both sides so after doing that i connect with um a straight line now you see the reason why i reduced it because i want it to be contoured at the top part if i do that one inch it will be too much so i just wanted it to be contoured to give it that curve that we would want so after reducing um, that one to half an inch on both sides i'll just connect the lines together making sure to smoothen any sharp edges because you don't want your cup to be poking out or being sharp around the edges because it's not just flattering to look at so here i'm just carefully connecting all of the lines together after connecting those points together i come down by two inches from my waistline and just connect it straight to the line no measurement there just come down by two inches and connect it to the line if yours is not up to two inches depending on your half length then it's not a problem you can just connect it down to whatever measurement you have so what i'm doing here like i said earlier is smoothening the edges anywhere that i have um sharp edges sharp lines i just smoothing it out so to give it that curve you see before even going further you'd see the shape of the bust is already coming out it's already looking like a bust here so now what i'll do is i'll measure the distance between my bust to my under bust and mine was three inches if yours is three and a half four inches yeah that's what you use so the, the thing i'm just doing now is um measure that three inches all around all around to form a circle to form a circle if you're familiar with my channel this would not be a new thing or if you're familiar with corset making already it will not be a new thing just from the tip of your bust you measure that three inches that's the three inches is the distance between your bust and your under bust you measure that three inches round you just give it little dots if you want to use a pencil to make your work come out neat fine you can use your pencil so after doing that you connect the dotted lines together try and make sure your circle is finer than mine and just connect together so what i'm doing here is just to um give it a bust that 
a bus that if you want a detailed tutorial on how to make a bus that then leave it in the comment section down below i'll be sure to make a video for you what i just did is i measured half an inch on both sides on the line where we have our bust measurement after measuring that half an inch on both sides i'm connecting it straight to the bust point that's where the bust point meets where that line that we drew earlier for our bust pan meets will connect it to that line now because the um what was it called the lines that got into the circle is not up to that half an inch i'll have to give it that exact measurement you can see i'm measuring it to give it that exact measurement so that it will not be different your cup will be symmetrical and they would align properly so you just connect the lines together you can rule it to the end of the paper or you can just rule it to the end of the circle but i just so it will be easy to follow i just did it that way after doing that i am connecting that my circular line to the um arm o of my bodies because i want a smooth curve down into the arm o so it will fit properly on my body it or on your client's body just make sure it's a smooth curve not straight just a smooth curve and then because i just wanted like a sweetheart neckline just a little bit of curve in front of it if you want your straight then you're good to go like this but if you also want the neckline just you know curve it also depends on how deep you want it if you want it to expose more skin you can go deeper if you don't want it to expose anything you can just leave it as it is so after doing that i'm just taking my basic measurements and connecting the lines initially i added seam allowance but later i took out the seam allowance and added it while i was cutting the fabric so I, what i'm just doing now is um, labeling as i cut because it's really really important because you have different pieces and you really need to label them if not you would cut it wrong and you would get confused along the line so i just labeled this one the side front because it's the side um, portion of the corset and the middle part i labeled it my center front which is the proper terminology so after doing that let's do a little bit of work on the cup part where will be your cup now you can decide to use either the vertical or the horizontal that whichever you decide to use you close the other one uh, in case you didn't get it whichever you decide to use you close the other one so now i just drew a st that straight line upward and then i measured half an inch on both sides of the line now you can see it gave it even more curve than it was before all of this contouring that we're doing is to make it sit well on your body and not poke out now i just labeled it a b and then i gave it some arrow to show me the upper part and the lower part and i'm just taking out the darts from the side because that's the darts i want to use i want the line to cut across the middle not straight so i'm closing the straight one like i said whichever you want to use you use it and close the other one so because i um closed the other one i have to close it anywhere it appears on the bodies so that's just what i'm doing here this that that appeared on the bodies i have to lock it also so that it should be the same thing with the cup it will align well you can see on the side front part also there is a dart that cuts across that part and i also have to close it if you follow this tutorial in details trust me it will it will be seamless for you to make uh, you make it with ease and you thank me later so just close it and tape it down with whatever tape you have and now the next thing to do is to determine the style line you want you can decide to have multiple style lines but if you're a beginner and you're this is your first time to make a corset don't do multiple style lines you can do two or three it's okay like here i did a whole lot of style lines and it would have been difficult 
for a beginner to handle but if you follow these steps i'm sure you'll be able to handle initially i measured two inches so the star lines will not be much i just draw one here and one on the other side but then i decided to do more because i have um, a big tummy so the more the star lines the more the boning that it would take and those boning will help me cinch my waistline and my stomach inside so that's why I did it like this. But if you're a beginner, you don't have to go uh, this complicated about your star lines. And you can decide the design you want. It does not have to be straight like mine. It can have um, a curved, um, like and like a triangle, yeah. You would have seen some, I'll try and put um, like, what's it called? A picture up for you so you can see that. So the next thing to do is to cut it out. But while cutting, like I said before, label. Because if you don't label, it will make you confused at the end of the day. Because you have tiny, tiny bits and you will not know how to place them. So just try and label them. So I label this center front one. The other one center front two, center front three. You can label it A, B, C. You can label it one, two, three, whatever works for you. But this, the other side, I just labeled this um, side front one, two, and three. So I just cut it out. And we're done with the front pattern. As you can see. Now let's go to the back pattern. You do your basic bodies as usual. The only thing that I did differently here is on the waistline, I measured half an inch on both sides and i measured and i um, drew a straight line connecting it to the chest line okay to the bust line you can connect it to the chest line it's all the same so that's basically what you need to do for the back and also the way you want it to sit on the back the design you want if you want it straight if you want it a little bit curved like i did mine you curve it if you want it straight you just cut it out like with the straight line that is already there but i just wanted it to have a little bit of curve so it will like give it a little uh a beautiful shape at the back so that's basically it here i just um gave my normal measurement with no allowance added to it now cutting out the dart the only thing you need to do is to draw um a straight line down to the end of the pattern yeah i'm just labeling it like i labeled the front part whenever you want to cut always make sure you label it because it will always help you i cannot overemphasize this because it will help you a lot it will help you a whole lot now this is the line i was talking about earlier you just draw a straight line down you can measure it is half an inch because you took half an inch on the waistline so you can measure it half an inch and then you cut it out you can decide to cut it out you can decide to leave it in but since it's a corset you have to cut it out because you need to put bone in there but if you don't want to put bone in there you can leave it in and just take it in so the star lines for this one i just wanted very very simple i just drew a straight line cutting across from the top to the bottom and then i gave it my labeling again like i always say I cannot overemphasize this labeling. It is very, very important. You'll see why in a minute. We're done with the back panel, uh, with the back pattern. So these are all the pieces we have for the back. Now for the front, you can see that I've already cut the front with all of my... I cut two for each because we'll have um, on the right side and on the left side, of course. So to make a full front. Now the next thing I did was um, I cut out two net. We call it um, net. You can call it net, soft net. I cut out two exactly the way I cut out the main fabric. I cut it out for it as a lining because i don't want it bare like this but if you're going for the proper transparent you leave it bare like this but because of my bodies and everything i decided to leave it as it is 
I decided to add um, a tool for lining, but you can also leave it bare. This technique will show you both. You can see that I've already joined one side of the corset together. I just the way I placed it, you can see that it's already looking like a corset. It's already looking and it's firm. You not say because it is um, transparent, it will be light or no, no, it's firm. So now you, you just. I just want to show you what I did to the other part. You just join them together. The way you placed it on, that's why I said your labeling matters a lot. The way you placed it, you just do it like that. And trust me, in this project, pins will be your best friend. Like you will fall in love with pins because it will just make your life a whole lot easier. So you see, after pinning it, it looks like the other one I've sewn together. So I'll just take it to my same machine and sew it and then join the midpoint together. So we'll have one continuous piece for the front panel. Now for the back, you do the same thing that you did for the front. You cut it out, adding your seam allowances. Remember I told you that I took out seam allowance, so you have to put those seam allowance to join on the and side back you put one inch now for the cup you just cut it with half an inch allowance all around if you want to um, deconstruct on the cup then you leave it plain like this and then cover the cup and this deconstruct on it but if you don't want to you have to cover the cup so that it will look like your body or the fabric that is already inside as your lining so i'm using the fabric i used as my lining to cut out the same thing I have on the cup. So now to turn it over again, you see all these things later on. To turn it over again, I need to cut it a little bit bigger than the ones I have already. So you see why I did this in a minute. So I have two pieces for the one that is exactly the same size with the uh, fabric and I have two pieces for the other one all of these are cut in two because you have to join them in the middle like you see me doing here after doing that I'm just notching the bottom part so I'll know where the bottom and the top is you will not make any mistake the way you join the fabric you join the lining also you do it for both the small one and the big one you pin them together and then you join them on your same machine like i said for this project pins will be your absolute best friend you really need it for this project so now i'm going to my same machine to join them together see what i meant by if you want to see if you want to deconstruct on your um cup you can leave it like this but me i'm not deconstructing on it so i'm not leaving it like that and it's not be proper to have white showing under green when we have brown under it already so now the small one the one that we cut exactly like the main fabric you put it on it it's just like a lining for it just like when you're making any lace um outfit the way you line it that's what you were about to do here so what you do is you just stretch it pin it together so that it will be smooth on the surface and don't worry if your cup is a little bit bigger than what you cut out as long as your measurement is correct you don't have to be afraid just stretch as much as it could go and then pin it down you can see now to cover that white part of the cup on the inside that is why we cut the big one we we'll place it on top of it and so then we turn i don't know if you get what i'm saying you can see to cover it on the inside so that it will just look like it's meant to be there because it's actually meant to be there so i'll just sew it quickly and show us what it is so far this is where we are at for the front part of the corset you can see it without boning is already sitting properly you can see the bust is coming to the side yes it's fine because the mannequin is way smaller than i am way way smaller than i am so that's why it's like that on my body is sitting properly so now for the cup you see what i was trying to 
explained earlier for you. You pin it very well so that it will be stable and then you sew the top part alone. The top part to the mid middle part. When you sew to the middle part, you turn it over. You can see what I did. You sew it to the middle part and turn it over. Then you pin it so that it will be in place. You can either pin it or you press it down. If you have your tailor's arm, you just place the cup on it and press it down so it will stay. But if you don't, you can just pin it down whilst you work on your project. And whatever place is proving stubborn to go down, you just trim it. Like, it's not a big deal. You just trim it as long as it's getting in your way. Like this brother over here. So, I'm just trimming it down so that it will be able to sleep properly and be flattering on my body so now after doing that this bottom part that is hanging i'll just sew it down i'll sew it across if that uh, middle part on the inside is poking out just catch it again from the inside and it will stay so you just sew it that you can see what i did already on the other cup now to um, prepare my boning this is my rigidly boning. It's called sewable boning, rigidly boning, whatever you want to call it. You can sew on it anyways. So I'll just wrap it in my bias tape. You can decide to cut your fabric on bias and use your fabric or you use a bias, already made bias. So I just wrap it around the bias. I sew first on one side and then sew on the other side. So it will be covered. You don't want to have white showing on your clothes when you're wearing it. So before attaching the boning to your corset, the first thing to do is to top stitch the allowances down. So I'm just picking out the rhinestone so it will not get caught up in my machine and break my needles. So you just top stitch on all panels. Yes, it's a lot of work, but the result is um, rewarding. So, you just top stitch neatly. You know, this is the front part of your clothes. This is why the transparent bodies, you don't need um, lining to make it come out neat on the inside. We are getting to that particular place now. Because I know some people will be wondering, if you don't line it, how would the inside look? This and that. But just take a chill pill and see how it will work now. So... As you can see, I'm top stitching all of the lines that I have. And then just um, cut out any loose threads that you have. Trim them off. Make sure it's neat. Especially if you're not attaching this thing to a bodice or to a skirt or any other thing. Make sure you make it come out very neat. But I'll show you how you do that now. So you just, after top stitching, you trim out the multiple excesses that you have on the inside trim it to the smallest part that you can get like i don't know how to explain it to the close trim it closest to the um stitch that you have on that you've put on the fabric already so take your time while doing this part like I always say no one is chasing you Take your time so you would not snip your fabric. The moment you snip it, you're starting afresh because you have to take it out and, um, you know, sew again. So just take your time and cut out all of the raw edges. So you can see that you cut it small. If by the time you cut it and you're laying your boning, you see that it's still big trim it keep trimming but don't trim the fabric itself don't make that mistake now this is how to attach your boning remember we prepared our boning earlier on now after trimming and you're sure that you're fine even if you're not sure you're fine your boning will tell you whether you're fine or not so now you place the boning on top of that part where you trimmed this is where the um, finishing of the inside comes to play you place it on it 
and then you sew along the edges make sure your stitches are straight because it will show on the outer part now if you want the boning to be on the outer part of your fabric it means instead of joining backwards like joining on the inside you join on the outside just so you use your boning to clean it up i don't know if you get you know i joined this one on the inside of the um, bodies now if you want your boning to be outside of the bodies you join it outside of the bodies I just hope you understand what I just said. If you don't leave a comment for me in the comment section down below, I'll be sure to answer any question that you have. Now you just keep um, joining the boning to the fabric. Now initially, I wanted to reinforce the boning by putting the plastic boning now in between the rigidly boning that I sewed on. But I just decided to, you know, leave it. If you do that, it will give it more structure. Uh, it will make it more firm and give it that corsetty feel. Hold you, suck you more, suck you in even more. So if you are interested in that kind of look, you can do that. But I just decided to, you know, let it be. So guys, if you've not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? After all these goodies that I'm giving you, please, guys, subscribe to my channel, like, share, turn up your notification bell so that whenever I post any new video, you'll be one of the first people to get notified and go watch it. So, as you can see, I'm repeating the same process all and all. You do it for the two back pieces and also for the front piece of uh, as well initially i wanted to show you how to make the lacing um you know that kind of lace i'll get the picture and put there that kind of lace back i wanted to do it for you but i didn't want the video to get even more complicated so if it's something you'd be interested in seeing let me know and i'll be sure to make a video of how to lace a corset or a, pro, a normal garment you can lace a normal garment also so now you can see it, it already has that structure of a corset like i said if you want to reinforce it you can still add your plastic boning in between you can see how neat the inside is looking and also the outside now for the cup to place the cup you notch the middle point of the down part so that you'll be able to place the middle point on the middle point of the dress or of the corset see now i place the middle point matching with the middle point now you can decide to pin all around before sewing or you can just decide to sew as you go whichever works best for you that's what you do so yeah i just pinned it to the midpoint make sure it's on the midpoint so that your boobs will not be on one side and your fabric will, your dress will be on the other side so i just decided to um sew all along you can see the cup already on the fabric yeah i don't mind the cup is small because the person wearing it has a small <clears throat> so that's why it's like that don't blame me it's not my fault now after doing this you do the same thing on the other side of the cup so because we have two boobs not just one you can see it's already looking like a corset like if you just join the back now you have a corset ready that if you're not joining a yoke or um a skirt to it if you're leaving it as a proper corset then your corset is almost ready now i'm just showing you that you can use your bias to finish up that joining so you not have raw edges inside your corset so far this is where we are at you can see yeah i said it earlier the reason why the boobs is on the other side of her chest is because she's smaller than me 
and that's why it's like that but you can see the um, corset already takes shape if you're not adding um a yoke you can just pipe the top and the bottom and you're done so because i'm adding a yoke remember the yoke we cut out from the pattern earlier i just cut out two pieces of each because i want it um you know so i pinned it down on the top part and i just sewed it it's straightforward you can watch any of my video of how to sew a yoke to a fabric you just pin it down and you sew as long as you got the yoke from the pattern it will fit like a glove now you can decide to use the lace also for the yoke anyway uh, you can also decide to use two the same thing you do for the front you also do it for the back and then guys we're almost there like i said earlier if you're not putting a yoke just pipe the top part and the bottom part and you're done with your corset but because i wanted to be able to wear it to church so i decided to add a yoke to the bodies so after doing this you join the front and the back piece together with whatever seam allowance that you left after joining the front and back piece together that seam on the edge you cut it the way you did for the front and back that you top stitch and then you put your bone in you do the same thing for it some people leave it like that but for it to have more structure you can just put your boning on the edges it will help hold your waist intact and then give you a smaller um, look so now i just attached my zipper to it like i said before i wanted to do um a corset stringing a lacing but because i didn't want this video to be more complicated than it already is so i just decided to use a normal zipper so if you want me to show you how to lace leave the request in the comment section down below so after doing that you join whatever skirt you want to join or whatever you want to join at the bottom part and then you are done so guys i want to thank you for always coming back to my channel i love your support it has been wonderful thank you guys for always coming back don't forget to subscribe share and like i love you all Mwah.